That's a very good question. Again, nagsimula na mo yung sanayin ko. I remember my mom worked, you know ang OFW, that's about the time. My mom worked in a time. In a time, meron siya pinagamahon na dentist. And she saw na, na anak ko yung dentist sa Italy. So sabi ng nanay ko, I really wanted to be a lawyer, honestly. Yun talagang gusto ko. I wanted to be a lawyer. So sabi ng nanay ko, huwag kang mag-abogado, mag-dentista ka. So I said, okay. Uh, I, I, like exam ako, I went to CEO and took the exam and I said, but this is really something that you wanted. Because right now what you're telling me, she wanted to be a lawyer. So, mag- yes. abogado. Sinunod mo lang talaga yung parents mo. Sinunod ko lang talaga. Sinunod ko lang talaga. And, and no inhibitions? No inhibitions. Kasi ang, ang, ang goal ko is, you know, let me see, let me try. If uh-huh. I pass, go on. Pag bumagsak ako at hindi ko nagustuhan, then I go to my second choice. Lagi kang may choices sa life, di ba? Uh-huh. So I said, I'll, I'll, I'll make it a point na I'll make my mom happy first. Okay? If not, kung hindi ko talaga gusto, I'll go back to uh, sa, pag, uh, sa pag-inor ng, ng law. Pero technically, along the way, nagustuhan ko na. Nagustuhan ko na yung dentistry. Then, I'm not sure. So what did you love about it? I don't want to destroy my mind. I fall in love with the industry. I felt like, sa akin na, in my personal opinion, underrated pa rin siya. Okay? Pero, technically, the industry is a combination of a lot of courses. You can be an engineer, an architect, a doctor, and a, a lawyer also. You know, yeah. combined into one. And let me add to that a sculptor as well. Yes, <laughs> diba? Uh, uh, dentistry is more than a science, it's an art. Kailangan talaga may passion ka. Kasi it will transcend you the way you do it. It is the work of your hands, your signature. Anything that you do in, the, in your patient's mouth, that's your signature. You are uh, giving the patient a smile. That's the number one goal, you know? Pangitingin mo ang isang tao, make a patient comfortable and functional, that's the number one thing. You're giving confidence sa mga taong nililimite at saka sa mga taong gusto magkatrabaho. Uh-huh. The self-esteem, the self-confidence that a dentist can offer to a patient is priceless. Eh, meron bang parte sa iyong career when you're taking up dentistry na parang sabi mo na ito ba talaga ang para sa akin? Nag-doubt ka ba ever <laughs> in your ano, you know, stay in dentistry? All, all of the dental students and dentists will always agree, yes, there's a, there, there is a point of in dental school talagang mag-doubt ka. Mahirap maging dentist student at mahirap maging dentist. You know, uh, it will take a lot of uh, aral. And dalawa kasi sa amin eh, we have the, the, the work of our hands, yung tinatawag namin clinicals, at saka yung theoretical part. So dahil dalawa, hindi ka lang pwedeng aral ng aral. So you have to establish your, your clinical skills. So kailangan, laging nagsasabay yung dalawa. So sa dentistry kasi, hindi ka tulad ng mga physician, you go to the hospital, you have to go patient. Can we refine our patient? Hanapin mo ang pasyente mo dadalhin mo sa school. So, y- yun ang isa pong dilemma na pag-dental at sa dental school. So, yun. So, ang dami requirements, sa dami ng requirements ito, hahanapin mo isa-isa. Uh-huh. Of course, hindi ka naman pwede libre, di ba? Sa yes, mga yes. pasyente. So, lahat ng ginastos ng patient, it will be under your care. Yes. So, yun ang pinagkaiba namin sa kanila. So, kami ang nagpuprovide ng dental material once we started treating the patient in school. So, kung ano man yung allowance mo, kailangan meron kang extra. Minsan doble, triple pa nga. Mga okay. gano'n. Oh, nice. So, ito ngayon. Yung, siyempre, when you're doing dentistry, dalawa din yan eh. One is you're providing perfect smile to people. But also at the same time, may sinasabi ka rin kanina, parang you're also doing things na social responsibility. What's your social responsibility in terms of dentistry? Uh, okay, that's a good question also. Uh, <laughs> kasi, okay. uh, once dumating yung patient sa'yo, may problema na eh, di ba? So you are there to listen. When you listen, you, you make a plan. Hindi yun lang tinignan mo siya, oh, ito 5,000 to. Uh, so so uh, it's not about the money anymore. Uh, side na lang yun, kasi sinasabi naman natin more than an article, it's a business. Of course, it's a business, pero you deliver. You, you give yourself... Uh, parang you fit in yourself into the shoes of that patient. What if kung ikaw yun? What if kung ikaw yun? What can you do? Or can you do better? So yun yun. So 
So, one pumunta ang patient, most of the time, they are frustrated, they're in pain, they, 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 they have the fear of the unknown. Minsan, hindi nila alam bakit sumasakit ang ibig nila, or minsan, hindi nila nang inisip. So, that's why they seek your professional help. So, yung pala, alam mo nang may responsibility ka. Diba? More, more than the money that they will pay you, you know that you, you, you need to help this patient. Doon pumapasok yung art and science, that's the business side. So, tatlong yan. Sunod-sunod yan. Hindi pwede, nag-business ka lang, hindi pwede ngayon. So, you have to have the passion and compassion and empathy for the patient na you will deliver. Uh, hindi ka naman nagpa-promise eh. You don't promise. You, you expect your patient that you can deliver the best dental, you know, the dental knowledge that you have. So, we don't question other dentist capability. Kasi, we have different school of thought. Ibig sabihin, mag tigil ko sa'yo, ibig sabihin ko sa'yo, ibig sabihin ko sa'yo, but we have the same service na gusto natin ipanalas patient, where we have to give the patient the excellent service. 